This gimbal is pretty badass. Here I have the G2X by Tilta. What up, 8Fam? Kitty here with the Tola Visuals, and you can't deny that this thing is a beast. The logo looks like a transformer. It's a fully metal build, a pistol handle grip, it has the ability to hold 8 pounds or 3,600 grams. So if you want to rock a Sony with a G Master lens, if you want a 1DX Mark II it, Maybe FS7, C200s, this gimbal's got you. Yes, it does. You can also see the screen because now the motors are set lower. You have no problems blocking it. I know all the Panasonic people benefited from that flip out screen, but not anymore, my fam. We can see it too now. I literally keep this thing on my desk because it's so pretty. Look at the engraved workings on this handle. Beautiful. Not only is she gorgeous, but her handle takes four 18650 batteries, which last nine to 10 hours. And these motors are hella strong. Also, conveniently, there's a quick plate on here that matches the Manfrotto tripod. So if you want to take the camera off and switch it onto some sticks, it'll save you so much time. So let's get to some test footage really quick. I found a motorcycle that matched perfectly with this gimbal. So let's take this baby for a ride. box. The gimbal comes in this high quality case. It seems waterproof to hold everything that the gimbal needs. Instructions, screwdriver, battery charger, which looks similar to the Moza charger, a car charger, base plate, lens mount for heavier lenses, riser and quick plate, hot shoe holder. This will keep your camera more secure and mitigate vibrations. Handle and the gimbal are separate, so you'll have to put those together. And the gimbal is secured with Velcro. You know this gimbal comes with an app. The iOS one is better. It comes with this auto-tuning feature, which is the easiest calibration I've seen on a gimbal. It takes five to 10 seconds tops. And you don't have to lay it down, you just keep it up straight and it does all the work for you. You can remotely control it. It also allows you to motion time lapse, however, it won't pull the shutter trigger for you. You're gonna need something like an intervalometer or an app like the Sony time lapse app. 
Because this could hold heavier payloads, it can get heavy, so I would suggest a few accessories, like their wooden handle grips. The right wooden handle has the option to run and stop, so you can record easily. They're made really well, they look nice, and they're really comfortable. They also have a dual battery grip handle where the batteries would go into the handles themselves. That's something I've never seen before. They also have other accessories like monitor brackets because they use rosette mounts. It also has four modes that you would push with this trigger here. It can also go inverted and do this sort of Dutch angle that people are kind of fond with with gimbals lately. There's many pros with a gimbal like this. First of all, the build quality keeps it rugged. You could also Move left and right on the joystick if your horizon ever gets a little funky and tweak it really simply like that. I wish other gimbals had that option. This handle base is actually really nice. I know other gimbals come with a little mini tripod, but I kind of dig this base plate instead. As I mentioned before, I could actually see the screen now. The motors are out of the way, and because of this riser, I could actually change the batteries really easily. I don't have to unscrew it and rebalance it like I used to before. So the disadvantages with this gimbal, if you're an Android user like me, unfortunately, the app isn't that great. However, they're gonna update it, and that's gonna be in development within the next two months. Another thing is they don't ship this gimbal with batteries, so you're gonna have to purchase them separately unless you have another gimbal to use it with. Like I'm using my old Dune batteries. Something about not being able to ship lithium ion batteries, there's some weird requirements. I'm not sure exactly, however, they don't come in the box. So I'm just letting you know you're gonna have to purchase your own separately. But they're not expensive at all. So who is this gimbal for? Definitely shooters who need a high quality gimbal with strong motors for heavier payloads. Also someone who needs the range between mirrorless and cinema cameras and you change out your cameras a lot, this will be helpful for you. It's built to last. All the materials that they use, even the case itself is really well made. The look and design of this gimbal is what drew me to it and maybe it will for you too. So someone who appreciates quality and wants a gorgeous gimbal, this right here is luxury of the gimbal world for sure. So that's it. Like if you learned something, share with your friends if they're gear nerds like me. Check me out on Instagram. I post there on the daily. You do you and I'll see you when I see you, fam. Mm, done. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so I suggest a few excess. So I should so I would suggest suggest suggest. Someone who just appreciates quality and wants the prettiest looking gimbal. This is definitely the gimbal luxury. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's it. I don't know what else to say. Blah.